Hello Eagles, this is Ina Singh Santuanda, a bachelor degree holder in business teacher education, cum laude from Polytechnic University of the Philippines. And I will be your TLE guru for the day. So for today, we are going to rationalize masonry, carpentry, drafting, and cosmetology. Okay, let's start. So for our first question, what class of concrete mixture consists of one bag of cement, 2.5 cubic feet of sand, and 5 cubic feet gravel, or 1 is to 2.5 is to 5? Option A, Class AA, B, Class A, C, Class B, and letter D, Class C. So, the correct answer here is letter C, Class B. So, bakit? Para mas maintindihan nyo kung bakit Class B ang sagot, let's have this table. So, this table shows the ratio of concrete mixture for the different classes of cement. Lahat ng class ay same amount of cement. So, Class AA, Class A, B, and C only have one bag of cement. Ang kailangan lang yung tandaan ay ang amount ng gravel per class. And para makuha ang sand, kailangan nyo lang i-divide sa 2 ang gravel. So, tatandaan nyo, ang gravel is mag start sa 3. And ang maximum niya is 6. So, gravel is 3, 4, 5, and 6. Para magamit naman or para makuha ang sand, i-divide nyo lang siya sa 2. So, for example, class AA. Ang gravel amount niya is 3 cubic feet, while the sand is 1.5 cubic feet. So, always remember that, again, gravel starts with 3 and ends with 6, while the class starts at AA and ends with C. So, next question. These are temporary wooden frameworks used to suspend the layout strings for a foundation. It ensures your project is level and square. A butter board. B. Scaffolding, C. Forms, or D. Stake. So, the correct answer here is letter A, Butterboard. So, bakit Butterboard? Because it is usually composed of two stakes and a horizontal cross piece. If it is properly installed, Butterboards help ensure the corners of the foundation at the exactly the right angles and location. So, magbibigay ako ng example. This picture shows Butterboard. Kung makikita nyo, it has a right angle and sa corner part nun, dun nilalagay ang post. So, bakit hindi naman scaffolding? Ang scaffolding kasi is a temporary structure used to support a work crew. Ito yung mga tinutuntungan ng construction worker na nakikita natin sa mga condominium na ginagawa or even sa mga ano, houses. So, in constructing buildings or houses, ito yon. It is made by steel. Then, ang Forms naman is a rectangular post na nilalagyan ng mortar sa loob and eventually, ito ang tinutukoy nating poste o pundasyon ng ating mga bahay or buildings. And lastly, ang stake ay ito yung mukhang malaking pako na binabaon sa lupa para maging reference points ng mga construction workers or ng mga engineers para maging guide nila sa construction site. Next question. These are tools in preparing, arranging, forming, laying, and shaping bricks, stones, and masonry block. So, ang given ay brick hammer, crandall, cold chisel, and trowels. So, ang question dito is, lahat ba to is tools para magamit sa paggawa or sa masonry or hindi? So, isa-isay natin, ang brick hammer at crandall ay parehong hammer for shaping masonry stone. Well, ang cold chisel naman is for shaping the cutting edge or shape the cutting edge. Then, the trowels is for finishing, finishing touch. Again, ang question is, tools in preparing, arranging, forming, laying, and shaping. So, hindi nabanggit ang finishing. So, definitely, the answer is letter D. Bakit? Kasi ang trowels is for finishing touch. Next question, what ingredients in concrete is added to the batch immediately before or during its mixing, improve its durability, and accelerate strength development. A. Fine aggregates, B. Coarse aggregates, C. Admixtures, or D. Cement. The correct answer is letter C. Admixtures, because these are used to improve the behavior of concrete under a variety of conditions. Ang fine at coarse aggregates kasi are inert materials to produce a compact mass. Well, cement is a bonding agent used in construction. Next question, 
among varieties of materials used in masonry, which is the most commonly used? AHB, BHBC, CCHB, or DCH? So, the correct answer is letter C, CHB. So, ang CHB stands for concrete hollow blocks. Ang HB, HBC, at CH are only destructors. They don't have definition in masonry. Next question, what is the art of building with stone, bricks, and concrete blocks of other similar materials? A. Concrete, B. Mortar, C. Masonry, and D. Carpentry. The answer is letter C. Masonry. Art of building with stone. Lagi nyo tatandaan, pag sinabing stone or bricks, it is masonry. Kapag sinabi namang wood or art of building through using wood or lumber, it is carpentry. Ang concrete at mortar are materials used in masonry. Ang concrete, ito ang hardened mortar. So, kapag tumigas ang mortar, ito na yung tinatawag nating concrete. Well, the mortar is the mixture of water, sand, and cement. Next, a mason wants to lay concrete hollow blocks in a 10 square meter wall. How many concrete hollow blocks are needed? A. 120 pieces B. 122.5 pieces C. 125 pieces or D. 100 pieces So, lagi nyo tatandaan na 1 square meter is equal to 12.5 pieces of CHB or concrete hollow blocks. So, 10 square meter times 12.5 is equal to 125 pieces. So, ang ating sagot is letter C, 125 pieces. Next question, which term refers to inert materials when bound together in a conglomerated mass form a concrete? A. Water, B. Gravel, C. Aggregates, or D. Cement. So, kanina nabanggit ko ang coarse and fine aggregates. Ito yung inert materials na nagka-create ng conglomerated mass. So, pag sinabi natin conglomerated, ito ay compact or siksik. While water is used for mixing, gravel, example of aggregates, coarse aggregates to be specific, and cement is a bonding agent. So, the correct answer is letter C, aggregates. Next is, why is steel needed in the construction of a building? A, to bind together the components, B, to strengthen the glass block, C, to comply with the construction requirement, or letter D, to reinforce the structure of masonry materials. So, isa-isahin natin ang choices. Sa so, letter A, sabi niya, to bind together the components. So, para mag-bind ang mga components, ang gagamitin natin is cement. So, ang function ng cement is to bind together. So, hindi siya pwedeng maging reason ng steel. Sa option B, glass block. Pag sinabi natin glass block, ito yung glass brick kung saan ginagamit siya for walls and floor. So, definitely, hindi siya pwedeng maging foundation ng building. Letter C naman, comply with the requirement of the construction. So, kung hindi nila nirequire ang paggamit ng steel, hindi ka rin magagamit. So, definitely not. Kasi pwedeng bumigay yung construction or yung mismong building na tinatayo. Well, letter D, to reinforce the structure of masonry materials. To reinforce the structure of masonry materials, siya ang tamang sagot dahil a brick masonry has low tension strength compared to its compressive strength. It is to reinforce with steel. Like concrete construction, the reinforcing steel is placed in either the horizontal or vertical mortar joints of beam, columns, walls, and footings. Ang steel ginagamit siya sa mga poste sa wall, and even sa beams ng isang building. So, the correct answer is letter D. Next, the most widely used material masonry, uh, masonry materials for construction work is A. Ashlars, B. Bricks, C. Rubble Stone, or D. Concrete Hollow Blocks. So, the answer is letter D. Concrete Hollow Blocks. Ang concrete hollow blocks are compact by high pressure and vibration which make the ver them very strong and resilient. Aside from that, environmentally, environment friendly and cost efficient than ang CHB or ang hollow blocks. It is also insulated against heat, dampness, and sound. While ang bricks naman, it is made out of clay. Kaya kailangan siya lagi ng plastering and consequently needs color washing. 
And it is possible na mag-produce or maging dump or magkaroon ng characteristic na dampness kasi nga ina-absorb niya yung water. Ang ashlar naman ginagamit as an alternative to brick. So kung walang brick, ashlar ang ginagamit ng mga mason. Then the last, ang rubble stone is an aggregate. Next, this is situational. Mr. Bong arrived at his new dormitory near the university. He would like to construct a cabinet for his new clothes. The question is, what is the first thing he must consider to do? A. Draft the design or layout of his cabinet. B. Measure the space allotted for the cabinet inside his room. C. List the materials and tools needed for the construction. D. Look for a skilled carpenter who will work for making the cabinet. So, let's discuss first the steps on making a cabinet. Step 1 is measure. Kailangan natin i-measure yung space kung saan ilalagay yung cabinet or yung woodwork project. Then, step 2 is draft your design or layout. Step 3, list the materials and tools needed for the construction. Step 4, canvas the materials and tools in making the cabinet. Step 5, transfer the layout and measurements of the parts to be worked in the woods. Step 6, cut, fit, and assemble the parts of the cabinet. Then, step 7 is finishing touch. So, let's back to the question. What is the first thing he must consider to do? So, the answer is letter B. Measure the space allotted for the cabinet inside his room. Next question. After Mr. Bong decide or lay out, design or lay out the plan for his cabinet, what should be his next step? A. Lay out the lines and measurements of the parts to be worked in the woods. B. Canvas the materials and tools needed in making the cabinet. C. List the needed materials and tools needed in making the cabinet. Or D. Have the design checked and approved by a skilled painter. So after drafting and uh, after drafting or layouting the design, he should do the listing of needed materials. So, so the answer is letter C. List the needed materials and tools needed in making the cabinet. Next question is, what is the importance of planning and budget allocation? A. It minimizes the use of money, time, and effort. B. There will be no wastage of materials. C. Finished output assured to be in quality or D. All of the above. So, sa letter A, ang sabi dito, makakatipid daw through proper budgeting and planning. Sa letter B naman, lahat magagamit mo, walang masasayang. Sa letter C naman, makakapag-produce ka daw ng quality product. So, all the choices are considered advantages of planning and budget allocation. So, the answer is letter D. All of the above. Next is, there are numerous types of sauce. The one used by sewing along the grain of the wood is called A. Back saw, B. Rip saw, C. Cross cut saw, or D. Hack saw. So, the correct answer is letter B. Rip saw. So, I have here a picture of so, ito yung mga lagare na ginagamit natin for carpentry. So, ang ripso, tatandaan nyo, is along the grain. Kapag bakso naman, for making wood joint. Kapag cross-cut so, is across the grain. So, along kapag sa rip. Pag sa cross-cut, cross-cut, across. And hack so, is for cutting metal. Next, what wood cut into lumbers? Okay. Wood cut into lumbers. As a student in carpentry, what part of lumber show the center part of the tree? A. Bark, B. Sapwood, C. Hardwood, or D. Feet. So the correct answer is letter C. Hardwood. This picture shows the parts of the wood. Ang bark, ito yung skin or the outermost layer of the tree. Ang cambium naman, it separates the bark and the Sapwood, and it is responsible for the secondary growth of the stems and roots. While ang sapwood, this is the largest part of the tree found in the middle. The heartwood is the inner part of the wood where all dead cells are of the wood are found. And the feet is the tiny center dark spot. Next, a surface lumber where two sides 
where two of its sides are smooth or plain is called A. S3S, B. KD, C. S2S, or D. SS. The answer is C. S2S. Bakit? Ang S2S is smooth on two sides, which means yung dalawang side niya is pinakines. While S3S, ito naman yung nag-undergo ng S2S, then yung one edge niya is rip straight or kinat. Ang KD, it means kiln or kiln dried. Ang S2S at S3S are types of surface lumber. Ang KD or kiln dried is a seasoning lumber. At ang SS naman is, or it doesn't have definite meaning in, or it does not belong in masonry or carpentry, rather. Next, which type of woods came from coniferous trees? A. Hardwood, B. Sapwood, C. Softwood, or D. Lumber? The answer is letter C. Softwood. Softwood refers to the type of wood from coniferous or cone-bearing trees, such as pine. As long as yung puno is cone-bearing, katulad nga ng itsura ng pine tree, it is considered as softwood. Ang dinatawag naman nating hardwood, these are the types of wood came from deciduous trees. Ang deciduous, ito yung example are nara, oak or maple or maple tree. Well, ang softwood, kung nakita nyo kanina, ang picture na nakita ko, softwood is a part of a wood and lumber is a byproduct of the tree. Again, softwood is for coniferous and hardwood is deciduous. Next question, another type of wood came from deciduous trees which is A. Hardwood, B. Softwood, C. Softwood, or D. Timber. So, the correct answer is a. Hardwood. Hardwood is for deciduous. Sapwood is a part of a wood. Softwood is a soft team or coniferous. And timber is a wood prepared for use in building and carpentry. Next is, a carpenter bought 10 pieces of a 2x4x6 lumber. If the price of lumber is 50 pesos per board feet, how much did he pay? A. 1,900 pesos. B. 2,000 pesos. C, 2,100 pesos, or D, 1,800 pesos. So, pag board feet or price per board feet na kinukuha natin, meron tayong ginagamit na formula. And this is total measurement divided by 12 multiplied by number of pieces multiplied by amount per board feet. So, ang given natin is 2 by 4 by 6. So, it is equal to 48. 48 divided by 12 is equal to 4. 4 times 10 is equal to 40, and 40 pieces times 50 pesos is equal to 2,000 pesos. So, the correct answer is letter B, 2,000 pesos. Next question, woods are considered as the basic raw material used for carpentry and making finished product. Below are uses of wood except A, woods are used as tool, B, woods are used for housing, C, Woods are used for fuel, and D, woods are used as stable. So, let's back to the question. Ang sabi dito, materials used for carpentry and making finished products. Below are uses of wood except. Ang wood ba ginagamit as a tool? Yes, it is. Like wooden mallet and float. Ginagamit din siya for housing. Like roofs, walls, and stairs. Ginagamit din siya for table kasi ang table is one of the common finished product from a wood. Ang wood is ginagamit rin naman for fuel such as charcoal. Pero tandaan natin na ang question is for carpentry use. So the answer here is letter C. Woods are used for fuel. Next, fly, plywood is made up of blank. A. Hot pressed wood chips. B. Hot pressed wood fiber, C. Stock veneer, or D. Stock lugs. So, ang answer here is C. Stock veneer. Bakit veneer? Veneer is thin slice of wood and plywood is a sheet materials manufactured from thin layers of wood veneer. Ang pressed wood naman, katulad nga ng wood chips at wood fiber, are made up of wood shavings, particles, and sawdust. And ang lugs are felled trees, generally 
craft pieces of woods. Ito yung hindi pa nag undergo sa manufacturing. Next, what type of roof frame consists of series of triangles used to distribute load and stiffen the structure of the roof? So, let's see in this picture. So, nakita nyo, ang picture na to, composed of truss, purlins, and rafter. Truss is essentially a triangulated system of straight interconnected structural elements and it supports the roof. Yung truss, makikita nyo siya sa mga gym or kahit sa mga simpleng bahay, ito yung nasa pinakaunahang parte ng roof. Yung triangle doon, na meron siyang laman sa loob kasi magbumuka rin triangle ang rafter kapag titingnan nyo pag magkasama sila. Pero ang truss, ito yung nasa pinaka harap. Then, ang rafter is series of slope supported the roof deck. Ito na yung mga nakaslant na sunod-sunod after the truss. And the purlins supports rafter or boards. Yung purlins naman, horizontal siya. Nasa ilalim siya ng rafter, just like in the picture. Then, ang girts, it provides lateral support to the wall. Ang girts, ito na yung nasa side. Kung ang truss, purlins, at rafter nasa roof, ang girts nasa lower part ng roof. So, the correct answer here is letter C, truss. Next question, which wood joint describes the technique for joining two pieces by cutting 45 degree angle? A, bat joint, B, lap joint, C, miter joint, or D, rabbit joint? So, the correct answer is C, miter joint. So, this, is, this is an example of miter joint. Kung makikita nyo, the corners are cut into 45 degree angle and joined together forming a right angle. Kapag miter, lagi siyang 90 degree. Nagmumuka siyang right angle. Pero kapag hindi pa siya pinagdikit, it is 45 degree angle. While ang bat joint naman is done by fastening the end of one piece to the edge of the other piece by using small woods, katulad ng nasa picture. Then the lap joint, is made by joining have the thickness of each member at the joint and fitting them together. Pag sinabi natin joint having, it is removing the material from each at the point of intersection so that so that they can overlap. And last, the rabbit joint is simply an open-sided channel or recess along the edge or across the end of the board or panel. Next question, a carpenter makes a picture frame. Which type of joint is appropriate? A. Lap joint, B. Tenon joint, C. Bat joint, or letter D. Miter joint. The answer here is miter joint. So, ito ang mga keywords. Miter joint, picture frame. Lap or bat joint, ang kinagrate niya is tables and chairs. While mortise and tenon is for chairs, tables, and benches. Next, what kind of technology program can a designer use to conceptualize objects more easily without spending costly illustrations, models, of prototype? A. Computer-aided designing B. Computer-aided manufacturing C. Computer-aided prototyping or letter D. Computer-aided engineering The correct answer is letter A. Computer-aided designing because CAD is a software that replaces manual drafting with an automated process. It is commonly used by engineers nowadays. So, usang-uso yung paggamit ng AutoCAD. So, it is used for drafting.